I know, Audrey. I'll do it tonight. If we survive this whole Strandberg mess. Well, I had to let some time go by. Dahlia Margolis was the one who introduced me to Zayden in the first place. Look, it would have made him suspicious if I broke it off right after she was murdered. Besides, Zayden is involved with some pretty scary shit, okay? That's what I was reporting to Dahlia about. They orchestrated this whole thing, Audrey. The siege, the riots, Strandberg's escape. All to pave the way for a military coup. Yeah, tell me about it. I can't wait to get back on the catwalk. I'm no Martha. I don't get a kick out of this cloak and dagger shit. I mean, the money was great. But Iago is gone. And it's time for us to move on. Yeah. Thanks. Look, if all goes well, I'll see you in New York next week. Would you believe my luck? I'm at the lobby checking out and I hear this big shot producer from GNN on the phone with an agency desperate to get a cameraman for an interview with Claus Hugo Strandberg. Strandberg, the, the banker. Do you ever watch the news? Anyway, I tap him on the back, show him my press pass, and the guy is so relieved that he just pays me a month's salary up front. Of course I'm not gonna do it. There's no way I'm getting near that place. Besides, I've got all this nice free money, and the dunce doesn't even know my real name. <laughs> Would you believe I said my name was Finley? Right, so I'm at the shisha place down near the bazaar. Whenever you can sneak out, come and join me, okay? Hey there, Smoke big guy. Smoke is on me. Oof, some pretty strong stuff in those pipes. I don't know if it's because I'm not used to smoking, but... <laughs> I feel pretty dizzy. I mean, it's great, don't get me wrong. You know, should we, uh... Should we do something other than drink? Maybe... Wanna go look at all the, the colors out at the bazaar or something? Never really thought of it that way. Okay. Disappointed by your lack of enthusiasm, but whatever. Let's just stay here. That's fine. Sure. Like, like let's just, let's do that. Whatever you want. Ugh. I'm tired. Should we do something? I don't know. I'm just, like, in the mood for being somewhere else. See the town? I don't know. What do you think? I see what you're getting at. Ah, okay. I just wanted to have some fun. No, sorry. I absolutely agree. We, we should go wild, but I need to finish my drink first. I just got the fastest car in the whole world. And I don't even know how to drive. I don't even know what the car is called, but it was expensive and apparently really fast. Want to go out, look at poor people? Hey, it's just an idea. Yeah, you're right. Well... All right, if you don't feel like it, we could just do it some other time. Yeah, we should totally do what you just said. I just wasn't listening. I want to be a great guy. I mean, I am a great guy, but the girls don't like me. So, you know, I want to I wanna do something about it. Let's get nuts. Let's go find someone for me. I'm in the mood for that. What do you think? Or should we do something else? Well, if, if you say so. So, I guess you're not in the mood. Loud and clear. Yeah, whatever you say. I'm sure it'll be interesting. I'd like to see some more of Marrakesh. Something dangerous. Shouldn't we maybe leave the city for a bit? See the rest of Morocco? You know, go traveling. What do you say? Hmm, intriguing. Intriguing indeed. Don't you just love it here? It's so nice, beautiful. Oh, oh you just want to be here. No, that's okay. I mean, I just thought we could do something different. Sure, sorry. I just mentally drifted. So calm here. But, I mean, yeah, whatever you say, really. You know, I sent her a mail and a text, and she's not replying. What's wrong with her? I told her to meet us, and no word. I think we should just go, do something fun. Or eat somewhere we have never eaten before. Don't you think? I mean, let's do something. Yeah, yeah, right. You're talking so much sense right now. It's great. Yeah, or maybe we can just sit here and do what we always do. Yeah, yeah, okay. We should do it. It's a great idea. Shouldn't we get really drunk tonight? Make fools of ourselves? I mean, it's something to do. I miss getting a bit wild, don't you? You know, I like these cocktails. 
You're so good. Well, it was just an idea, you know. Yeah, sure. We should definitely try that. But another drink first. I really want another drink. I love the water in that pool. It's so calm and soothing. I miss the ocean. Are we near the sea? Sorry if I seem dumb. I was just never really good at geography. Absolutely doodly. <sighs> well, I'm just trying to make conversation. I should give it a try. Hey, yeah, I'm all for it. But let's just uh, get another drink, huh? So, should we hit the town? I mean, look at all the lovely ladies. That, do you think that would be fun, or do you want to stay here? Absolutely. Okay, so you don't care? Fine. I just think it's a terrible idea. But let's go for it. So, can we say the deal is final? I, I know we're both relaxing and all, but can we move on now? Both parties are happy? Yeah, I get your point. So, you're not listening that much? Uh, I don't have a clue. Let's just go with what you said. I read a book where they say there is nothing noble in being superior to your fellow men. True nobility lies in being superior to your former self. Isn't that clever? Yeah, true. Okay, so you don't agree with what I just said, but we could always still just get drunk. Sorry, I think it's a great idea, but let's finish our drinks first, and then we can take it from there. I say we should get drunk tonight, and I mean hammered. <laughs> what do you say? Are you game? I just feel like partying, like there is no tomorrow, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's interesting. I thought this was an evening of celebration, but it seems like you're a little jaded. What's that all about? Look, I'm easy. Let's just finish our drink and we can figure out what to do about whatever it was you said. You know, I'm thinking about building my own rocket. As in space rocket. It's possible. I mean, you can get all the information on how to build one of those things right off the internet. I'm gonna build one just big enough for my dog to fit inside the cockpit or wherever. I mean, he'll be like the second dog in space, right after Laika. You know, the dog the Soviets shot at in space. So what do you think, huh? Yeah, gotcha, gotcha. I'm just trying to think of something. If you have a better idea, let me know. Look, I, I'm pretty much up for anything. I'm just a bit too tired to make a decision. So whatever you say is what we'll do. I like fish, don't you? We should have fish tonight. I'm tired of lamb. Fish. Yes, fish. Where can we get fish? And couscous. I love couscous. Look, help me here. I'm running out of interesting things to say. Yeah, not sure. Maybe. Look, I'm open. I just want to have a good time. I mean, if you don't like the idea, then just let me know. Okay, let's just do it. But let's just finish our drinks first. In silence. In case anyone's listening. I really believe that in a few years, in, in the not-so-distant future, we're not even going to need our noses, you know, our sense of smell. I mean, any kind of nutrition that you'll ever need will be distributed to us intravenously from a food container carried on our back. And since we don't enjoy the sense of smell food anymore, why even bother having a nose at all, you know? When, when you think about it, a nose is really quite bizarre. I mean, don't you agree? Ain't that the true truth? Oh, I know. Let's do something else. Do you think they have hang gliding here? I always wanted to hang glide. Let's do what you said. I, I don't mind. I just want to enjoy my drink first, if that's okay. You know what I like doing? Or rather, what I feel like doing? I feel like swimming. But I think the pool is a bit too shallow. I'll end up looking like a walrus that's been cast up on shore. No, wait a minute. I mean, like a whale. Walruses can crawl back into the sea, right? That, that would be a sight, don't you think? Whatever you say. Or we could do something else. I don't know. What do you say? Look, calm down. We'll do what you want to do, okay? I just want to finish my drink. We, we should hit the town. See some culture. I mean, it's all very nice here, but you know, it's safe. Let's explore the back streets. I bet you they're exotic. You know, four people being poor. It'll give us some perspective, you know? Don't you think? I really love the bazaar out there. The smell, the colors. But you know what I hate? I hate the heckling. Why can't they just have like a fixed price? I mean, every single time it's heckle, heckle, heckle. Sometimes I just want to up the price to see the reaction. Wouldn't that be fun? Yeah. You know when you try to say something clever, something witty, and your brain just goes blank? Don't think Oscar Wilde had that problem. Well, he must have. I mean, can you imagine if he had some funny and slightly sarcastic remark to everything you said? I mean, he'd be a real jerk. 
It would be like, Jesus, Oscar, can't we have a normal conversation? And then he would come up with a witty remark. Yeah, probably, and say something like, man is least himself when he talks in his own person. Give him a mask, and he will tell you the truth. I think he already said that. <laughs> oh, damn. Huh. Is there anything he didn't say? Well, there's a book of humorous quotes, and I think he has something like 92 entries. Oh, really? I mean, he was like, what, 45, 46 when he died? So, for the sake of, you know, discussion, let's say he didn't start getting all cocky until the age of 18, right? I mean, Jesus. That means he only said something remotely witty every... 110 days or so. Maybe. Uh, my math was never really any good, but yeah. So, even Wild could be a bore. Huh. Well, thank God for that. Can you imagine being in a room with Wild, Shaw, Twain, and Dorothy Parker? <laughs> well, if they were in a good mood, yeah, I think it'd be a riot. <laughs> and if not, they'd all sit in a corner moping that they can't say anything snappy or witty. <laughs> I want to say something funny and clever. <laughs> Huh, ironic though. Just because we have nothing to say, we poke fun at some of our best writers. Their quality being far superior from our lines. Yeah, I even noticed your wild joke was paraphrased from that uh, British comedian sale from back in the 80s. <laughs> you did? <laughs> well, can't invent the wheel every time. We all have off days. <laughs> we sure do. And you are on a roll, my friend. Well, thank you. I take pride in being a bore. <laughs> hey, being a bore is safer than offending people. And you certainly did that last time. Ugh, oh, and before that, with all the swearing and stuff. Ugh, you know, maybe, maybe I should just shut up. No, yeah, that's probably a good idea. <laughs> we should have a bottle of champagne to celebrate. Oh, you don't have to. Come on, you're our friend. This is a big day for you. Yeah, and if it weren't for you, he and I never would have met. Yeah, and you are responsible for all my misery. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just kidding. Dude. <laughs> Thank you. That's that's really sweet of you guys. Do I make you miserable? No, honey, honey, it was a joke. Well, a, a bit early in our relationship for such sexist jokes, don't you think? Uh, okay, uh, come on, you guys. It's my birthday. You shouldn't fight. It was a joke. Well, you know, it, it's not funny. It's hurtful. Will you please just stop? Come on. You're, you're my best friends. Please. K kiss and make up. For me. For my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> we're just yanking your chain. Pulling your leg. <laughs> yeah, we were just messing with you. Actually, we want to tell you something else. We're getting married. And we want you to be the best man. Really? That's fantastic. And we're doing it tonight. A real Moroccan wedding. Uh, yes, but but it's my birthday. Uh, can't you wait until tomorrow? I mean, that means today will always be your wedding day. Oh, come on. Don't be like that. Aren't you happy for us? Yeah, but... Oh, come on. You'll get over it, you sourpuss. Now let's have a toast to us. Cheers. <laughs> uh, cheers. Cheers! <laughs> I like ice cream. It has such a nice texture, don't you think? Mm, yeah. Mm. I never really thought of that. Mm. Oh, I just love the good life. Okay, look, I'm game. I, you just lost me earlier, okay? Sorry. Let's just finish our drinks first, please. Oh, this is such a lovely place. So nice to be away from all the paupers outside. I could be here forever. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. I, I agree. Absolutely. It's just so... Oh, I don't know. I'm good here. It's nice, don't you think? Yeah, okay. Whatever you say, that sounds great. I'd just like to finish my drink first. I hate the poor. They smell so bad out there. But in here, everyone smells like a commercial. It's so sexy, don't you think? Mm hmm I see your point. Yeah. Oh, life is good, don't you think? Hey, I'm up for whatever you say. I just want to finish my drink. Sorry if I didn't seem interested. This is a wonderful bar. It reminds me of that classic movie. You know, the one where Sam is constantly asked to play the same song over and over again? Wow. <laughs> If only they had an iPod, he would have been out of a job. 
But at least you wouldn't have to play that song all the time. Yeppers, you are right. Oh, I wish this moment will never end. Okay, sorry. Yeah, it's it, definitely, let's do it. I'd just like to finish my drink first. 